What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is White Gamer. Today we have the post patch tall striker build. This is the striker build that I was using in that video of me playing striker. You guys can go check it out in the comments section below. But for your position, we're gonna go with a striker at striker. You're gonna have great finishing. Your strength will be good. Now for the height, we're going six six. This is a tall striker build. Weight, we went with one hundred and fifty two pounds. Now for your playstyle plus, the first one I definitely recommend is the quick step plus. This is going to allow for your pro to accelerate quicker when you're running on to the ball. It's really good. Then the second play style that we went with is the aerial plus. This will give you a great advantage over center backs when you're going for any ball in the air. And it's very, very good because then if you win the ball in the air, you can go for a pass with your head and it can just create trouble for the defense. Now for the regular play style, the first one we went with is the finesse shot. This one's still good, even if you're using the regular version. The second one is the power header. We'll get more heading accuracy and power when you're going for headers to score. Now, from the passing, guys, we went with the ping pass. This one's really good. Ever since the patch, a lot of people have been using the regular version and the plus version on other builds. When you do the RBA or the R1X passes, they come out much much quicker the ball travels much faster and it's really good then for the next one we went with the first touch since you are playing tall the ball control isn't going to be the greatest so you do want to have a good first touch next we went with the rapid as you're pushing up or sprinting up with the ball your pro won't take those heavy touches which that's what you want and then last but not least guys we did go with relentless so the stamina can recover a bit slower and so it doesn't go down that quick. This one got nerfed a little bit, but it's still a good play style for a striker. Uh, remember, guys, you also can go with the Rapid Plus, but we decided to go with these two for the play style plus, and these were our regular play styles for the tall striker build. Now, for the running style, the one I was using and the one I recommend since you are playing tall is the Norse. This is the Holland running style. It has your entire upper body leaning forward, and it's just a really good one for a tall striker build. Highly recommend the Norse. Now we have the skill tree again, guys. In the comment section, there is a video of me using this build. You're going to get the cheetah archetype, and then you're going to focus on your sprint speed completely. This will give you 81 acceleration and 88 sprint speed. This build will be lengthy, so that means in the long distance, you will be able to outrun your defenders, and they'll have a hard time keeping up with you or even catching up with you. So this is a really good pace for a tall striker. Now, from the shooting, you are going to get the sniper archetype and the four star weak foot and then on this right side you're gonna get the finisher archetype and then you're gonna get this finishing right here now this will give you 96 finishing which is very very good 96 shot power 85 long shots if you guys saw that video i was scoring a bunch of goals from like 24 or 25 yards out it's very 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 good striker build and of course you got the five star weak foot then for passing, guys, you're going to have one skill point once you finish everything. So we just went with short passing. Not much to say from the passing. 70s is more than enough. Your job at the end of the day is to score and put the ball in the back of the net. Now, from the dribbling, guys, we're going to get the maestro archetype on this right side. You're going to get the balance. You're going to get the ball control, more ball control, and then make sure you get the other balance, guys. Make sure the balance is 2 out of 2. That will give you 82 balance, 85 ball control. Remember, you also have that first touch which will help out with that ball control 83 dribbling and you got the 80 and then you got the four star skill moves now even though your agility is at 68 guys you have to compromise since you are playing tall you're not you're never going to have great agility as a tall striker and you also need the low agility so you can be fully lengthy which that only matters if you are a new gen again you can use this build for old gen but just letting you guys know last but not least guys we got the physical we're gonna focus on the reactions so make sure all these reactions they say two out of two two out of two and two out of two now the reactions are extremely important especially since you're playing tall the animations aren't going to be quick enough and your pro might feel a little bit sluggish but with the high reaction your pro won't feel that sluggish and the animations will be a little bit quicker and when you're receiving the ball will be much faster so that's why you do want to have reactions guys then you have 88 strength so it's going to make it difficult for opponents to get you off that ball you also have that good enough balance as well and then the 84 stamina should be more than enough remember you also have the relentless which will help 
the stamina recover a bit quicker at halftime or even an extra time and then 76 jumping guys that's more than enough remember you're 6'6 six, six, and you have the aerial plus so you'll still be able to win headers against cbs so don't worry about that now we back out boys and girls you're gonna be an 89 striker this is the tall striker built post patch 84 pace 91 shooting passing really doesn't matter 82 dribbling then you got the 85 physical try out this build again guys the gameplay to this build is below in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.